everybody should have some lateral movement somewhere between six and ten inches you did that time right so when you're well what I want you to do is shift the hips forward drop that right shoulder down feel like the right elbow upper arm reconnects to the rib cage and you just feel that you know uh, that's the one you know that one swing where you swung from inside out that's not it because that shoulders level the one that you had where the right shoulder was way down there this is it notice how much lower the right shoulder is there when your hands are just below right hip level that's way lower Now you're not. That's your. No, no, that's the swing you swung two degrees to the right. This is your normal swing. You're going to see a big difference. See how your shoulders are level there? Come over here and look at this for a second. All right, your hands are almost in the same place. You can see here they're much more level. Here that left shoulder's going up a lot more coming in. So this is the swing on the right that you swung two degrees to the right. Nice flat wrist. Different release. So yeah, I mean, you know, put 15, 20 minutes a day on this. And then that step swing, and then when you do the step swing, you're going to start to feel like your arms are going back and your hips are going forward and that right shoulder's dropping in. All right.